Okay, the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, our daily bread, forgive us. As we forgive those who sin against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, Amen. Father, thank you for this evening, for gathering us together. As we learn your word, we pray that your spirit may lead and guide us. Your spirit may um, anoint our, our minds, uh, renew our minds, and give us, an, give us a deep understanding and the grace to practice the presence, your presence in our lives. We also pray that all those who are listening to this uh, study on the YouTube and uh, those who are sharing may be blessed uh, richly by your presence in their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, let me share the... Uh, Okay, you all can see the screen, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Great. So yesterday we were talking about uh, the very important uh, aspect of uh, our uh, our uh, you know uh, the very important aspect in terms of building intimacy with the Lord. And we were talking about uh, practicing the presence of God. So that is something which uh, we uh, really desire uh, to have, that we be aware of the fact that God is always present in our lives. So that is something which uh, we should uh, be practicing. That is, uh, that is uh, something which will strengthen our intimacy with the God. Now let us uh, listen to what Father is uh, talking further uh, on this uh, uh, topic. The Wakim, on the Samuel, Patamatayam, Aram the Wakim, by Kavo, a pole, it is eleven, on the Samuel, Patu, Ara, Nalavimbo, Postomon, on the Samuel, Patu, Ara, by Jay, a pole, or go a pole, Samuel and Varna, Katia, but on the bottom of the bed, Samuel, Padini, 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 Maturi Manishanai, Ni Marum, Hallelujah. Karta Apol, Kartavi Atma, Shakti Ode, Ninamel, Avasikim. Apol Kartavi Atma, Shakti Ode, Ninil Avasikim. Ni Maru to the Provikan Dorangam, Maturi Manishanai, Ni Marum, Prani Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, what uh, Father is uh, Father is now reading from uh, the uh, book of Samuel, 1 Samuel 10, chapter 10, verses 6. The word of God uh, reads like this The Spirit of the Lord will come mightily upon you the spirit of the lord will come mightily upon you and you shall prophesy with them and be turned into another man okay the spirit of the lord will come mightily upon you and you shall prophesy with them and be turned into another man that is what the word of god says in 1 samuel 10 6 the spirit of the lord will come mightily upon you and you shall prophesy with them and be turned into another man. That is what uh, the 1 Samuel 5, uh, 1 Samuel 10, 6 says. Hallelujah. 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 Okay, so what Father is telling is that first for us to have this uh, practice, to have, for us to have this presence one of the things that we always should uh, desire is to have that presence in the lord wherever we go to the church or a prayer meeting wherever people god's people gather together one of the things that we should desire in our heart is to have the presence of god in our lives see these are some of these things which uh, we should this these things of desire etc are very small things but are very important things see uh, you know it is so difficult for uh, uh, for uh, uh, us to uh, say simple thing like a drink to drink water. You know, drinking water is one of the most powerful uh, way of healing our body. I'm sure that most of you would know. Uh, we, uh, an, an, average, uh, an adult on an average should be drinking three to three and a half liters of water. Now, this is not something which happens in many people's lives because most of us, do not desire to drink water. We are not thirsty to drink water. Because we are not thirsty, we don't drink water. 
because we don't drink water, it will affect our immune system. In a similar way, we, we are, uh, even though we are aware of it, but we don't have the thirst. So fa what Father is uh, saying is this, we uh, should desire, we should thirst for the presence of God in our lives. We should thirst for the presence of God in our lives. You know, as the word of God says in Matthew 7, 7, ask and you shall receive. The real translation, the original translation of that particular word in Hebrews is like this. It is not you ask once or twice or three times, but you keep on asking till you receive it. Which means you constantly keep asking the Lord to uh, whatever you are asking for. So this is not just one time activity. So here to practice the presence of God, what we need to have is to have a desire to be in the presence of the Lord to desire to practice the presence of the Lord in our lives. And that is what um, uh, that is what Father is telling. And this is something which uh, the early church has practiced. Okay. So, um, Father is talking about the early church. And the early church uh, did not have anyone who is uh, influential in the, in the society. Uh, the early church did not have, uh, you know, the big learned people who could make a huge difference uh, in the society. The early church uh, did not have enough money nor, uh, you know, buildings. The early church did not have, uh, um, uh, you know, enough, uh, enough contacts or the political uh, will uh, to establish it as a, as, as a religion. Nothing they had. They all, what they had was only the Holy Spirit. Because they had the Holy Spirit, the Bible says uh, in the Acts of the Apostles, everyone looked at them with fear and awe. You know, everyone looked at with uh, looked at them with fear and awe, and that is because they had the Holy Spirit with them. The presence of God was with them in the early church, and that is why when others looked at them, even though they lacked everything in the from the material world, from the worldly sense, they lacked everything. Um, um, as, as a community, as a group of people, but everyone looked at the whole world, looked at them with fear and awe. That is because they had the presence of God in their lives. And this is the difference that makes uh, when we have, when we are in the presence of the Lord, people will look at it, look at us with awe, so that we can, because we carry the presence of God. So what Father is telling you that the first thing that we should, uh, uh, we should have when we talk about intimacy with the Lord is to have the desire uh, to, be, uh, to, to uh, be in the presence of the Lord. To have the desire. Lord, uh, you know, give me the desire uh, to uh, practice your presence. Move in me, O oh Lord. That desire has to happen in our lives. If we don't have that desire, uh, after a point in time, we will actually, you know, uh, uh, that fire that is there in us will die down. So we need to put in every effort uh, to build that desire and to sustain in that desire. That is what St. Paul talks to Timothy. Fan the fire that God has put into our heart. So it is not that the Holy Spirit will leave us. That is not what it means. The Holy Spirit will work in a person's life when we allow the Holy Spirit to, to work, which means Holy Spirit looks forward to a constant fellowship with the people uh, when it comes to working uh, or manifesting his uh, power in our lives. So what we need to desire is that Holy Spirit work in me, increase the desire to have you um, in me, increase the desire to be led by you in me, increase the, the desire to live like you in me. So which means that constant presence of the Lord needs to be activated activated in our lives. So this is the labor that we need to put in. You know, St. Paul says in Colossians that we should be pray, people of prayer. So that what is that people of prayer means? The labor that we need to put is to be, to cooperate with the Holy Spirit, 
to constantly remind him, constantly tell him to be act to activate, to be to be alive in our lives, so that his presence may lead and guide our lives. <laughs> മറിച്ചെന്താണെന്നറിയോ ഇവിടെ ഇപ്പൊ എത്ര കുടുംബമാണെന്ന് അറിഞ്ഞോടാ ഇരുന്നൂറ്റി പത്തോ ഇരുന്നൂറ്റി പതിനഞ്ചോ ഇരുന്നൂറ്റി ഇരുപതോ എത്ര ആയാലും ആ അത്രയും കുടുംബങ്ങളിലും ദൈവത്തിന്റെ ആത്മാവ് എന്നറിയണം ദൈവത്തിന്റെ ആത്മാവ് എന്നറിയണം അതായത് നമ്മൾ ഈ മൂന്ന് ദിവസം കർത്താവിന്റെ വചനം കേട്ട് പ്രാർത്ഥിച്ച് അങ്ങനെ അങ്ങോട്ട് പോകുമ്പോൾ കർത്താവിന്റെ സാന്നിധ്യം എപ്പോഴും നമ്മുടെ കൂടെ ഉണ്ടാകും പറഞ്ഞാൽ നമുക്ക് ഈ ലോകത്തിൽ ഇപ്പം വലിയ സന്തോഷത്തിന് കാരണമൊന്നും ഇല്ല ഉണ്ടോ ഒന്നുമില്ല മനുഷ്യരെ കൊണ്ട് സന്തോഷമുണ്ടോ ഇല്ല ജീവിത പങ്കാളിയെ കൊണ്ട് സന്തോഷമുണ്ടോ ഉണ്ടെന്ന് ഒരു വീട്ടിൽ കല ഒഴിവാക്കാൻ വേണ്ടി പറയാന്നുള്ളതല്ലാതെ അങ്ങനെ വലിയ സന്തോഷമൊന്നും ഇല്ല മക്കളെ കൊണ്ട് തീരെ ഇല്ല പിന്നെ ഒന്നുമില്ല ആത്യന്തികമായിട്ട് നല്ല കാലം കഴിയുമ്പോൾ മനുഷ്യർ തിരിച്ചറിയുന്നതാ നമുക്ക് ഈ ലോകത്ത് വലിയ സന്തോഷമൊന്നുമില്ല Okay. so what what father is telling is this so this uh, this presence of god has to move not just only in our lives it also has to move in our families the 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 family members that should experience the presence of god in our lives when uh, when a, when an average man or woman uh, when uh, they pass a certain age uh, of their life they realize that the world cannot give them the world cannot give them any joy or happiness this this most of the people realize it only towards the fag end of the fag end of their lives but whatever it is uh, the uh, reality is that the world cannot give us the joy and peace that we wanted to uh, experience uh, throughout the life so uh, only only god can give so what uh, what we need to do is to uh, invite god into every area of our lives so that we practice his presence in our lives ലോകം നമുക്ക് വലിയ സന്തോഷം തരുന്നില്ല നമുക്ക് ദൈവം തരുന്ന ഒരു സന്തോഷം അപ്പൊ അതാണ് സങ്കീർത്തനം മുപ്പത്തിയേഴ് നാല് എന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ സങ്കീർത്തനം മുപ്പത്തിയേഴ് നാല് വൈകാവോ സങ്കീർത്തനം മുപ്പത്തിയേഴ് നാല് വൈകാസ് തേർട്ടി സെവൻ ഫോർ സാംസ് തേർട്ടി സെവൻ ഫോർ ഇസ് വാട്ട് വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു റീഡ് ലെറ്റ് മീ ജസ്റ്റ് റീഡ് ഔട്ട് ഫോർ യു സാം തേർട്ടി സെവൻ ഫോർ ഇറ്റ് സേ ഡിലൈറ്റ് ഇൻ ദ ലോർഡ് ആൻഡ് ഹി വിൽ ഗിവ് യുവർ ഗിവ് യു ദ ഡിസയേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് യുവർ ഹാർട്ട് ദിസ് ഇസ് വൺ ഓഫ് മൈ ഫേവറേറ്റ് വേഴ്സസ് it says take delight in the lord and he will give you the desires of your heart now um, now uh, this uh, this word is also uh, interpreted in very different uh, manner in in a different way um, uh, uh, people people uh, you know often say that you know you delight uh, uh, in in the lord he will give you the desires of your heart that it 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 means that you know uh, everything that what you wanted uh, is that is not what it means and some people uh, uh, what they do is they dis- they delight in the desires uh, of uh, desires for that so that the lord give those those to them that is also a wrong interpretation what it means is delight in the lord is to practice to be in the presence of the lord to be to give your heart to the lord and whatever is whatever is required or more than whatever is required the lord shall supply uh, in our lives that is what uh, this uh, word means 37 psalm 37 4 sangeetana 37 bible sangeetana unda bible angotu nadu kuchu thara sangeetana kedu sangeetana 37 4 vaiche kartavil aanandikkuka avudana nende aagrahangal sadhichu tharum appo naan parayana ledhu parayanam kartavil kartavil alla kartavil aanandikkuka avudana nende aagrahangal sadhichu tharum kartavil aanandikkuka avudana nende aagrahangal sadhichu tharum അപ്പോ ഇവിടെ ഒരു കണ്ണൻ നമ്മൾ വരുമ്പോ എന്തോ ആഗ്രഹം നോക്കളെ ശരിയല്ലേ ഒത്തിരി ആഗ്രഹം ഉണ്ട് ഇത്രയും കാലമായിട്ട് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്ന വിഷയങ്ങളാണ് കർത്താവ് ഇവിടെ വേണം ഇതേ അങ്ങനെ കാരണം അങ്ങനെ തന്നെ വെക്കണം കർത്താവ് ഈ കാര്യത്തിൽ ഒരു പരിഹാരം തരണം തെറ്റൊന്നുമില്ല അങ്ങനെ ചോദിക്കുന്ന പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നത് തെറ്റല്ല ചോദിക്കാൻ ദൈവം തന്നെ പറഞ്ഞിട്ടല്ലേ പക്ഷേ എന്താ കാര്യം അറിയാമോ നമുക്ക് ഈ ജീവിതത്തിലെ ആഗ്രഹങ്ങളൊക്കെ അതിനെ കുറിച്ച് ഒന്നും ഉൽക്കണ്ഠ പറഞ്ഞ ഒരു വിഷയമില്ല ഒന്നിനെ കുറിച്ച് ആഗ്രഹം ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നത് എന്നാ പറയാം ഒന്നിനെ കുറിച്ചും ആഗ്രഹം ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നത് പ്രാർത്ഥനയിലൂടെയും അപേക്ഷയിലൂടെയും കൃതജ്ഞതാ സ്ത്രോത്രങ്ങളോടെ നിങ്ങളുടെ യാതനകൾ ദൈവ സന്നിധിയിൽ സമർപ്പിക്കണം പറഞ്ഞ ഹലിയ അവർ പറഞ്ഞ ഹലിയ ഒന്നേ പറഞ്ഞ ഒന്നിനെ കുറിച്ചും ആഗ്രഹപ്പെടരുത് അടുത്തേക്ക് നാളോട് പറഞ്ഞ ഒന്നിനെ കുറിച്ചും ആഗ്രഹപ്പെടരുത് പറഞ്ഞു അടുത്തേക്ക് നാളോട് പറഞ്ഞു ഓ കൊറോണ വരത്തില്ല പറ ഒന്നിനെ കുറിച്ചും ആഗ്രഹപ്പെടരുത് പറഞ്ഞു ഒന്നിനെ കുറിച്ചും ും that is uh, what philippi 4 uh, 6 says have no anxiety about anything but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known to god philippi 4 6 vaikavo onnine kurichum aagula 
ിച്ചു <laughs> എല്ലാവരും എഴുതി തള്ളിയ സമയത്ത് ചിന്തിച്ച് നിരാശപ്പെട്ട സന്ദർഭങ്ങളിൽ നിലാവിന്റെ നീല വെളിച്ചം പോലെയും സൂര്യതേജസ് പോലെയും ദൈവത്തിന്റെ മഹത്വത്തിന്റെ വെള്ളി വെളിച്ചം ദൈവശക്തി വ്യാപരിച്ചത് നമ്മൾ മറന്നു പോയോ ചേച്ചി മറന്നു പോയോ ചേട്ടാ മറന്നു പോയോ എന്താ സംഭവിച്ചെന്നറിയോ നമ്മൾ മറന്നുപോയി ഒരിക്കലും ജീവിതത്തിൽ ഇത് നടക്കില്ല എന്ന് ചിന്തിച്ച കാര്യങ്ങളിൽ ഇവിടെ നമ്മൾ ഇറങ്ങി വന്ന് ഇടപെട്ടത് മറന്നുപോയി പറയാണ് കൃതജ്ഞതാസ്തോത്രങ്ങളോടെ എന്നെ കുറിച്ച് ജീവിതത്തിൽ have no uh, we are continuing the word from psalm uh, in philippians 4 6 and we are moving into 7 have no anxiety about anything but in everything with by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known to god and peace of god which surpasses all understanding will keep your hearts and minds in christ jesus so many a times in our lives when you really look uh, look uh, at our past life we have seen a mighty presence of god mighty presence of god moving uh, powerfully in our lives and have saved us from from situations which we did not even have a control of so what uh, what the presence of god does is that the 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 god whom we worship god whom we trust whom we believe will will take over the situations which we don't have a control and that situation that when god takes over he will fulfill he in return what he gives is the peace the peace which no one can give that peace will take over our lives that is what the presence of the lord uh, you know uh, does in 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 a in a believers um, uh, believers heart the situation might uh, be still the same or it could move into a worse scenario but the peace that god gives into a person's heart the 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 peace that god deposit in a person's heart when we recognize the presence of god that that will surpasses all understanding which enable god to move in the way that he wanted to move in that particular situation and whenever we have this father is telling us remember that remember how the lord has done has worked in your life in the past so whenever a situation comes in our lives it will be very uh, difficult to say that you know do not be anxious there could be anxiety that comes in but always remember how god has worked in the past and offer those situations with a thanksgiving so that the lord's presence takes over in your life and my life Okay, so uh, the COVID, what COVID has contributed uh, to uh, to humanity are two things. One is the uh, fear. Second is the anxiety. Okay, the two things that COVID contributed to humanity. One is fear. Second is uh, anxiety. So the word of God is teaching us here not to be anxious, not to be worried about, but remember the great things that god has done in our lives in the past one by one take it take it and bring it into your mind into our mind and keep keep thanking keep thanking the lord for the blessings that he has done for the interventions he has done in our life that will bring in the peace that will bring in the peace over the situation over the crisis that we are going through ഒരിക്കലും <laughs> there is a lot of fear which has got into people's life um, uh, and i would call it as a post uh, covid depression and anxiety this is one thing which i am seeing these days uh, 
when i meet people that is what father is telling ee depression ee depression aagulada oi kanda vishamam bharam samadhanam illa chirikana mogala kaanalilla nadhe maasku vechirikkane nadhe karyam sooriya thane chirikathu illa parney hallelujah parney hallelujah anusare chirikana mogala kaanalam chiriyan pattilla parney pogane adhe agathu onnu varatha chiri veli chirichal ippa agathu onnu chiri verunnilla adhu chumma chirichal aa chiri velikana varanaanu adhanaana ili ennu parayunnathu so father is telling that you know he is not able to see the kind of smiles that used to come uh, earlier earlier people used to smile people used to laugh but these uh, days post to covid he is not seeing that kind of a joy that kind of a smile on people's face one that the mask has been put by everyone second is that that the 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 uh, you know that smile the joy is missing in many people's life instead of that the anxiety the worry has taken over um, uh, in uh, taken over people's life and that is what we should be careful so that is what the word of god says in philippi 4:6 do not be anxious about anything but in everything by prayer and uh, supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to god so which means whenever it's a situation of worry anxiety comes our biggest weapon is to offer it with a thanksgiving to god and then once that happens the peace of god the presence of god um, which surpasses all understanding will take our lives and put it into the in, into the perspective uh, according to the will of god that is what we should practice uh, in our lives manushan agathu santosham illengil chirikan pattilla kilikkanu vettu amma kilikkunavare alla venda pinne chirikkunavare alla venda appo chirikku angane chirikkan pattu nokki agathu nu agathu nu santosham varanu agathu nu agathu nu malai alagi vannalum ee tsunami keri vannalum sagara karjana maan adichalum sira malai alagi nakki thinna vannalum ninne appade samagirikkunna veliya oru maha durandam vannu kalikkum ee thoongi kadakkum oru manushante agathu evadeyo devam vidacha samadhanathinte oru santhana anubhavikkunnu devam vidacha oru samadhanam parney hallelujah when you practice the presence of god the first thing that we'll have is the the peace that that uh, you know overtakes our heart the peace that overtakes our mind so even even you might we might be going through the most volatile situation we might be going through the most uh, you know difficult uh, in a phase of our lives the crisis of our lives but when the peace of god takes over our lives when we allow the presence of god to take over our lives that what we experience is um is the is a comfort is the joy is the stillness is a peace so that um uh, god we know that god uh, god is in control over the situation not we that is what we lack today and that is what we should be desiring today okay so practicing the presence of god is not only about making things work for you in the sense you know uh, uh, for example you have a crisis immediately you have a solution that is what ultimately we want but the solution god provides it it is god who provides a solution but there is a gap between the the current the gap between now and the solution that gap is what we need to sail through there is a gap between now and the solution which god is going to provide us that time frame is what we need to sail through and for us to sail through that time frame we need to we need the peace of god that is what the word of god is teaching us to thank god for what he is going to do what he is going to do in the situation that uh, that we are going through so that we experience the peace of god in our lives so i hope this uh, i am able to uh, you know make it uh, clear to you uh, is this clear uh, what i am saying uh, yes yes very clear thank you yeah so so this is a very important uh, you know aspect of our uh, you know our uh, you know desire our our uh, journey in building the intimacy you know when you when you talk about intimacy many a times we uh, we we think uh, it is just spending time with the lord or uh, or trying to you know fulfill our uh, uh, ritual rituals of uh, prayers and uh, uh, you know uh, spiritual practices that is not what it is it is also it is beyond that which means we need to you know, practice the presence of god practicing the presence of god is more relevant today uh, in in situations where we don't have a control it is it might be very easy for us to practice the presence of god when we are in control of things when everything is going well we can say praise the lord hallelujah all those things are fine but what about when we are not in control of the situation what about when things are going upside down what when 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 the whole world is collapsing in front of us what when when we when we look at everywhere it is only uh, you know uh, negative negative things happening in 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 our in, in our lives and such a situation how do we practice the presence of god 
and that is what Philippi four six says. We need to we need to really we need to educate what 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 do you say? We need to upgrade ourselves into that situation. We are not just people who just remain and you know say and say hallelujah uh, in in a in an ideal situation. You know when when a vehicle when a vehicle is launched, uh, you know especially in the Indian Indian market, mm -hmm. when a car is launched uh, in an Indian market, there is uh, they always say uh, you know fifteen liters per uh, fifteen kilometers per liter, eighteen kilometers per liter, and in that they put an asterisk mark and un under ideal testing condition, yeah, in ideal testing condition, which means you know, they have their own test roads, right? Where they test the fuel efficiency of the vehicle, where there are no bumps, there are no uh, climbs, there are no, uh, you know, uh, turns. It is the flat road they test. And then they claim that, okay, this particular car has, car gets this much of mileage. But that is not how the car is. When car goes into the real road, real road, it has got, it goes through the turnings, it goes through the bumpy roads, it goes through hilly roads. It goes through plains. It goes through different phases of roads, a road, and the mileage varies. So, in our spiritual walk, where when we really look at what is our ideal condition and what is our uh, real condition, these two makes a huge difference when we practice the presence of God. For us to practice the presence of God in a real life situation, that is where we see the victory, not an ideal situation. Ideal situation for us to say hallelujah is very easy. When I, when I don't have any problems, you can I can say hallelujah, praise the Lord. But when I have the problems, I still say hallelujah, praise the Lord. That can happen only with the people who strongly practice the presence of God. So we need to do this in our life. We might have, we might not have any problems in our life currently. Or we, uh, you know, uh, Tomorrow you might, we might, or we might come across people who are going through problems. So wh what we need to do is to practice, constantly practice the presence of God so that we will be able to sail through the difficult situation and easy situations without, uh, uh, with, without much problems. That is what the key message our Father is giving us. Hallelujah. And this is what we should teach our next generation. The next generation, what we need to carry on is this. What we need to teach is this. So that they may carry on the presence of God in, the, in their lives. so I know father is talking about a person, a lady who um, uh, who whom he knows. He uh, she, he says that this lady, whenever I see her, she is so happy. She is so happy. She is so joyful. Yeah. But when when you when you really look at her life, what is happening in her family? Uh, it is quite uh, disastrous. Her uh, her um, you know children, two of them, two daughters uh, have gone gone grown beyond their age, and their marriage is not happened. One son who got married, he got divorced. And there are no, um, uh, you know, there are many other challenges that uh, that she is going through in her uh, family life and uh, family life. But in spite of all these challenges, one one thing which I have noticed is that she is always joyful. She is always joyful. Yeah, that is uh, what father is talking. <laughs> Every time when I meet her, she asks me to bless her, and then uh, you know, then only she lets me go. So one, so I keep noticing her, uh, noticing this quality in her that she is always joyful. So I always wonder how can this woman be so happy? There is nothing for her to be happy about because whole situation in her, in her family is just against uh, you know a normal. Uh, person's um, uh, you know uh, desire 
you know nothing is working out in her life but how can she be happy i always wonder about it pacha kalthana endha cheyyanu appo yadu edukku oru malaru kalyanam orikkil aari nadakathe illa nalla cheyyanu kalyanam kalyanam happy aayidu mathe mathe kalyanam parayalo oru vasayam nadakathe kalyanam nalla mudiyai aayidu sandosham aayidu kalyanam ee aagula padathirunnal onnine kurichu aagula padathirudu angane irikkan pattunnathu ee agathu oru samadhanam devam vechittund aa samadhanam prarthikkunnavante samadhanam aanu ആ സമാധാനം ദൈവത്തെ അറിയുന്നവന്റെ സമാധാനമാണ് ആ സമാധാനം ദൈവത്തിൽ പ്രത്യാശ വെച്ചവന്റെ സമാധാനമാണ് ആ സമാധാനം ദൈവത്തെ വിളിക്കാൻ പഠിച്ചവന്റെ സമാധാനമാണ് the peace that god has promised and this peace comes to those people who practice the presence of god this peace comes to those people who uh, who, who who praise this peace comes to those people who cry out to god uh, and ask him to intervene in their life so this peace is what we should seek and this peace is what we should practice in our lives for us to be joyful and happy we should not be afraid of one tree one tree one tsunami tree one wind tree we should not be afraid of that that is where we are going to find the solution ആ സമാധാനം വരുന്നത് വചന പറയാണ് പ്രാർത്ഥനയിലൂടെയും അപേക്ഷയിലൂടെയും എന്താ പറയുക കൃതജ്ഞതാ സ്തോത്രങ്ങളോടെ അതാണ് ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞത് നന്ദി പറഞ്ഞുകൊണ്ട് നടക്കണം എന്തോ ദൈവം അനുഗ്രഹിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് ഓരോ കുടുംബത്തിൽ അല്ലേ ഞാൻ നിങ്ങളുടെ കാര്യങ്ങളൊക്കെ അന്വേഷിച്ച് അറിയുന്ന ഓരോ കാര്യങ്ങൾ തിരക്കാറുണ്ട് അങ്ങനെ പോകുന്നു എന്തോ ദൈവം അനുഗ്രഹിച്ചു എന്തു മാത്രം ദൈവം നടത്തി so what uh, one of the things what father is uh, talking about to practice the presence of god all the time is uh, keep on thanking about think thanking god keep on thanking god just whenever you walk whenever we walk whenever we sit whenever we do something keep on thanking the lord you know small small things small small things uh, you know we can keep on thanking there are plenty of things millions of things that we god has done in our lives so practice um, thanking the lord that, uh, that will encourage us that will encourage us um, more uh, to be uh, more uh, to practice the presence of god so this is something which father is telling us um, as a very important tool to grow in the grow and uh, uh, grow in the grow in the intimacy with the lord so that is something which uh, we should uh, practice in our lives ഒരുകാലത്തിനോട് വന്ന വിഷയങ്ങളും കാര്യങ്ങളും പല വിഷയങ്ങളൊന്നും ഇപ്പോൾ നിങ്ങളുടെ കുടുംബങ്ങളിൽ ഇല്ല ഒക്കെ മാറി പുതിയ വിഷയങ്ങൾ വെച്ചാൽ ഉണ്ടായി ട്ടോ പക്ഷേ ആ വിഷയങ്ങൾ ഒക്കെ പരിഹരിക്കപ്പെട്ടു പറഞ്ഞ ഹല്ലേലൂയ നിങ്ങളെ പിന്നെ നിയാളുടെ നാഥ നിരവധി ആയ അനുഗ്രഹങ്ങളുടെ ഭാരം തരകി വീതി കടക്കുമ്പോൾ പറയാണ് എൻ്റെ ദൈവം എൻ്റെ ദൈവം എൻ്റെ മേൽ ചൊല്ലി ഞാൻ അനുഗ്രഹങ്ങൾക്ക് ഞാൻ അങ്ങനെ നന്ദി പ്രകാശിപ്പിക്കും പറഞ്ഞ ഹല്ലേലൂയ ഹല്ലേലൂയ അപ്പോൾ ഒന്നിനെ ഒന്നിനെ കുറിച്ച് വാക്കുകൾ പെടുത്തി പ്രാർത്ഥനകളിലൂടെയും അപേക്ഷകളിലൂടെയും കൃതജ്ഞതാ സ്തോത്രങ്ങളോടെ അടുത്ത വാചകം നിങ്ങളുടെ യാതനകൾ ദൈവസന്നിധിയിൽ ദൈവസന്നിധിയിൽ അർപ്പിക്കണം അപ്പോൾ ഏഴാമത്തെ വാക്യം വായിക്കുന്നുണ്ടോ അപ്പോൾ നമ്മുടെ എല്ലാ ധാരണകളെയും അത് ലംഘിക്കുന്ന ദൈവത്തിന്റെ സമാധാനം എന്താ പറഞ്ഞ ദൈവത്തിന്റെ ദൈവത്തിന്റെ സമാധാനം അല്ല എല്ലാ ധാരണകളെയും അത് ലംഘിക്കുന്ന ഇന്ന് നിന്റെ വീട്ടിലാണ് എന്റെ അക്കമഡേഷൻ താമസം ഇന്ന് നിന്റെ വീട്ടിലാണ് ഒരു കൊണ്ടോ ഈ കൊണ്ടേ താഴെ കൊണ്ടോ ഉണ്ടേ അഞ്ഞു ചെമ്പതി തരാവേ ആ നാളെ നിന്റെ വീട്ടിൽ ആളാണ് ദൈവം മനസ്സിലാവുന്നുണ്ടോ ആ ദൈവം നിന്റെ വീട്ടിലോട്ട് വരും നിന്റെ വീട്ടിലോട്ട് വരും എല്ലാ വീട്ടിലും ആ ദൈവം വരും ആ ദൈവം നമ്മൾ മനസ്സിലാവും നമുക്ക് നമ്മൾ മനസ്സിലാക്കേണ്ട കാര്യം അറിയാം ഈ നമ്മുടെ വീട്ടിലൊക്കെ കർത്താവ് ഇങ്ങനെ നിറഞ്ഞു നിൽക്കണം ഈ ടെലിവിഷനും ടി വിയും സീരിയലും ഒന്നും അല്ല നമ്മൾ കർത്താവ് നിറഞ്ഞു നിൽക്കണം കർത്താവിന്റെ പ്രസൻസ് നിറഞ്ഞു നിൽക്കണം പറഞ്ഞു ഹലിയ പറഞ്ഞു ഹലിയ ഹലിയ ആ നമുക്ക് വേണ്ടത് അങ്ങനെ പറഞ്ഞാൽ ചെറിയ പൈക്ക് കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങൾ വരെ ആ ദൈവത്തിന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ എന്നോട് സാക്ഷി പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ട് ആളുകൾ എന്ന് അറിയാം so what father is telling is that you know wherever we go so the some of the situations that we uh, some of the situations that we uh, practice uh, also make a lot of difference that is what father is telling that which which means uh, you know now what is that uh, you prioritize in your life uh, are are you prioritizing god in our lives or are you prioritizing world in our lives so that also will play a very important role when it comes to practicing the presence of god in in our lives for example what father is telling that when you come into the house are you prioritizing um, god which means you have lot of other entertainment activities that you probably will have uh, in in your in your house but are you prioritizing that or you, you are are you prioritizing uh, godly uh, things in our life so you cannot just expect god to come in when you are watching a serial when you watching watching uh, in movie when you are watching uh, more of worldly entertainments and then you know expecting god to uh, expecting uh, you to practice the presence of god so this is something this is a step which uh, which father is telling us to take uh, for us to be uh, you know for us to walk more closer uh, you know in 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 the lord this i have personally experienced uh, so i i am very convinced about it but i don't practice it as often uh, because the worldly temptation that we 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 come across is so so uh, you know strong that which means we need to take some drastic steps uh, in the lord to uh, uh, to to overcome that which means uh, it cannot happen naturally for a lot of people uh, yeah it cannot happen naturally for a lot of people um, uh, so there is nothing wrong in watching the movie or uh, you know having worldly entertainment that is not what uh, father is talking about 
what father is talking about is to uh, you know to give a priority if you are serious about walking in the lord we wanted to see this if you are serious about practicing the presence of god you prior we prioritize okay this is my time this is the time that i wanted to you know experience you this is the time i wanted to, you to be involved in my life you prioritize so that you become more accountable you become more sensitive to god in your life amma garbhaniyana ee sthri sahodari garbhaniyana appo ee garbhaniyana irikkana samayathu eppozhum nanu ilachana thooku vechundi prasanam kandu appo anga garbhaniyana samayathu kedu 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 enikku oru sahodari saashi ilachirikkana adhaithu naan mobile phone ee side vecha coaching enna thangira thangira ee side okay so father is talking about a testimony uh, there was this girl who um, who used to listen to my uh, talk every day regularly and uh, she she became pregnant when she became pregnant what she used to do is that um, you know she used to listen even uh, in her pregnancy she used to listen so once the baby became uh, the pregnancy became uh, you know uh, became big in the sense the baby started growing she started one uh, particular uh, thing uh, in her uh, in her uh, womb is that if she holds uh, the phone on one side uh, and uh, moves the phone to the other side she could see the baby moving to that side okay so that is something which she experienced so it is a word of god is keep the child does not know who, who, whether it is father daniel or anybody but child knows the word of god word of god as the mother hears the child is also here child the womb child in the womb is also hearing the word of god it's a very clear example in the bible we see this when mary visited elizabeth we're hearing mary's greeting the baby in the womb of elizabeth jumped with joy yeah the when the bible says when mary's greetings her, uh, reached the ears of elizabeth the baby in elizabeth the womb womb jumped with joy so when you when you uh, practice the presence of god uh, the, the child who is in the womb womb also experiences the same presence of god same presence of god so father is giving one such a testimony Uh, in in this talk parayana nanchale kanu ee choriya punjari kottu thani kartavinte taste kitti ee presence kitti devathe kitti valaranam parayana hallelujah so as the ch- children are small itself we should give them the opportunity to experience god we should give them the taste of the lord that is what uh, uh, we as parents uh, should be doing hallelujah adunde hrudayam devathe urappikanam adana parayana jovinde pusthanam parayana hrudayam devathe urappichu karangal uyarthi prarthikanam adana parayana hrudayam devathe urappichu karangal uyarthi prarthikanam parayana hallelujah ഹൃദയം ദൈവത്തിന്റെ സന്നിധി ഉറപ്പിച്ച് നിർത്തിയിട്ട് കരങ്ങൾ ഉയർത്തി പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കണം പറഞ്ഞു ഹാലേലുയാ അവർ പറഞ്ഞു ഹാലേലുയാ അവർ പറഞ്ഞു ഹാലേലുയാ അവർ വായിച്ചു ജോബ് 11 13 ജോബ് we are reading job uh, 11 uh, 13 job 11 13 let me just read the word okay job 11 uh, 13 uh, the word of god says uh, in job 11 uh, 13 uh, it says if you set your heart aright you will stretch out your hands towards him if you set your heart aright you will stretch stretch out your hands towards him which means we need to get our heart focused on him so that we will constantly pray to him if you set your heart aright you will stretch out your hands towards him so that is what job uh, uh, 11:13 says and that is what we should uh, be doing in our lives job 11:13 ായിട്ട് <laughs> <laughs> അതിനാൽ കോപമോ കലഹമോ കൂടാതെ പുരുഷന്മാർ എല്ലായിടത്തും തങ്ങളുടെ പവിത്രമായ കലങ്ങൾ ഉയർത്തിക്കൊണ്ട് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കണമെന്ന് ഞാൻ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നു so we saw a similar kind of an uh, you know uh, 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 similar kind of a verse in uh, job 11:13 and here uh, saint paul is telling to timothy uh, so here paul is uh, telling to timothy 1 timothy 2 um, uh, 2 uh, 
that I desire that in every place the men should pray lifting holy hands with without anger or quarreling. So this is a uh, this is a uh, exaltation that the word of God is giving us uh, to anger our hearts in the Lord and constantly raise our hands to the heaven and remain in the presence of God. Remain in prayer. And practice the presence of God. What Father is telling is this. It's a very important message. If we raise our hands to heaven and when you pray, when you pray, you will have a situation when you raise your hands and witness the blessing that God has done for you in that particular area. If, if you raise your hands to heaven and pray, you will also be given an opportunity to raise your hands and witness uh, and thank God for that blessing that God has done for you in that area. So that is what happens uh, you know, when you pray, when you lift your hands and pray to the Lord. When you lift your hands and pray to the Lord, Lord will create a situation for you to lift your hands and thank the Lord for the blessing that he has done in that particular area. So this is a message which Father is giving to us uh, uh, through this uh, word in Job and in uh, Timothy. <laughs> If you lift your hands and ask the Lord to intervene in your life, tomorrow you will be given an opportunity to lift your hands and say that my Lord has uh, intervened in my life and I thank God and you can become a witness for him. That is what happens when you lift your hands and pray. Uh, that is what the message Father is giving to us. so what father is telling is this don't just limit yourself only to few minutes of you a uh, few uh, you know uh, minutes uh, of your prayer time uh, but you uh, raise up a generation you raise up a generation of people who pray not only for yourself but for the people around you your family members your people around you people in your uh, in your uh, in your uh, society in your community in your state in your country that so that through you you, you will uh, be uh, able to save uh, others so our prayer time is not just limited only to you and to to the to your own selfish interest but beyond that that is what uh, the presence of god will lead us to when when you start practicing the presence of god your horizon will increase your horizon will expand you go you will start looking beyond your own uh, you know needs your own needs you will become a, a true witness for christ otherwise our 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 uh, attitude will become very narrow minded when you are only focused upon praying only for yourself your own selfish needs our attitude becomes very uh, very selfish even though you may be we may be praying but our focus is only for ourselves that is not what is that is not what we um, uh, uh, that's not what is meant when we say we practice the presence of God. Intimacy is not just limiting yourself. Intimacy with God will lead or will expand your horizon, which means you will be more concerned or equally concerned with the people around you, even though you are not related to. Okay? You are concerned that you have for your own people become you will have the same concern with someone whom you have no relation to that is a sign that you are intimate with god your intimacy with god will lead you to have that same experience of love and concern for someone who is not at all related to you not at all related to you that is what the prophets have practiced. That is what the saints have practiced. 
So when you say, when we say that I am practicing the presence of God in my life, one sign that we need to understand is this. Am I, is my horizon increasing? Is my concern, my love going beyond the four walls of my house? Is it going beyond the people whom I know? Is there a concern for me when I see a person on the road not knowing about Christ or when he suffers, does my heart beat? If it is yes, then it is a sign that you are moving in the presence of God. If not, probably we should ask the Lord to give us the desire for the souls. Okay, so with this, uh, we will stop uh, today. Uh, with this, we will stop today. And I will, uh, I would uh, want uh, you to share your thoughts and your views. Awesome. Uh, Brother Jose is <laughs> so awesome. The, uh, while you were speaking of, I uh, recall a couple of other uh, videos I have heard and, uh, and the, the thoughts started to flow. <laughs> like lightning uh, one of one of the thing was uh, one of the preacher said is is a w i j a d what is jesus doing w i j d what is jesus doing at this moment so i just wanted to ask everybody at this moment what is jesus doing any has any answers for that what is jesus doing <laughs> uh, what is jesus doing at this moment at this moment, what is Jesus doing? At this moment. Okay. That's a very... Any takers, any ideas? Yes, he is always loving. So, so the answer the answer to that is, when we are saying what is Jesus doing is, where is Jesus? It is in everybody's heart. He is right here, right now. So what is Jesus doing is what we are doing because we are in his likeness of his image. Yeah. And then, and then our go by book for that is WDJD. What did Jesus do? Anytime he had to do anything, he did go and pray. So, so what is Jesus doing now is us, is what we are doing in likeness of his image. And then our playbook is WDJD. What did Jesus do? Whenever he did, he went to pray. He went to pray. So, 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 so that, that is what when you were mentioning just now is that, hey, whenever we walk and we see somebody, what not, guess what? You are Jesus. <laughs> what is Jesus doing now? Whatever we do is whatever is, he is in his our heart <laughs> that we need to do. <laughs> yeah. Praise God. Very beautiful uh, thought, uh, Joy. Very beautiful thought. Uh, what is Jesus doing now? Because he is, uh, what we are doing is what Jesus is doing. <laughs> <laughs> so we be careful. Okay, then it is Jesus. <laughs> correct, correct. Yeah. Very wonderful thought. Any, any anything else? Uh, anybody else? Something? Mm. Anybody wants to share anything? Yes, brother. Yeah. So I am reminded of uh, Father Michel Rodriguez. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, his sermon once I was listening on YouTube. So he was saying that when I get up in the morning, first thing I do, I thank, thank God. I have a nice bed. I have a nice room. Uh, there are so many people who don't have a home you know, or sleep on the roadside or platforms or railway stations. So I thank him first. Um, then I then I go to the bathroom. I thank him for the water. There are people who don't have water, have to walk miles to collect water. So at every step, keep on, keep on thanking him for what we have. Very often, we do the opposite. Oh, oh, see, my friend, he has such a nice car. He has such a nice home. I'm, I'm not so, so fortunate. But when we start looking at those who are less fortunate, so we'll be doing uh, what Jesus wants us to do. Pray yeah. for them. Yeah. Praise God. Every... Yeah. So, 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 so which, which is very true. So, what, some of the th these things, you know, may not come naturally for a lot of people. That also we should understand. Which means you need, uh, you know, to practice certain things. You need to, you know, put some kind of an effort initially, because uh, if anything that you, when anything that you wanted to build a habit, you need to practice it, right? You don't get a driving thing uh, in on day one. 
you you will have to you know uh, do a lot of uh, trial and error uh, you know uh, so uh, so over a period of time you become you become an expert or you become more comfortable same is in our in our spiritual walk so if this particular talk has inspired you maybe one thing which we can talk about what one thing which we can do is this we can start practicing it right away right now after this talk you know there is no uh, postponement or no waiting for a right time to come right time is now you know now we are approaching the, the new year uh, don't wait for the first of uh, january to start something new you can start right now people keep saying no don't uh, attempt uh, to do any exercise uh, uh, on first uh, you know, three to four days of the new year because you will be uh, you will you will have a chance of uh, you know uh, you know bombarding or get, uh, meeting people on the road and <laughs> falling into a crowd uh, kind of a situation so because everybody would have uh, taken a decision to start running and uh, walking and jogging it will be crowded in the first week of january then this crowd slowly start disappearing okay so let us not wait for a particular moment to start we start now simple things of practicing the presence of god drawing building more closer and um, building a closer relationship with god building an intimacy this is a lifelong exercise yeah there is nothing there is no time where we say that i have grown well in the lord no there will never be a time okay if you really look at the if you really look at the uh, you know the angels the angels uh, uh, you know uh, i read it read it somewhere the angels are surrounding uh, the the uh, you know surrounding god okay around god the angels are uh, standing and it says uh, you know when the angels go around the lord every time when they see the face of god they get into an ecstasy which means it is a new presence it's a new presence that they 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 are experiencing it is not that you know they experience the god once and that's all every time they see the face of god they are experiencing a new ecstasy and that is what is you know giving them the you know the the, the motivation I, motivation is not the right word but for our for i don't i don't know what which are which are the which are the word can really you know be used here that is what is the excitement for them that each time when they meet the face of god when they see the face of god they get into a new ecstasy right so so uh, so growth of the relationship or intimacy is like that there is no end to it there is no end to it it keeps on growing you keep on growing in the lord you know till you die and even after death you continue to grow in the love of god in the presence of god beautiful so so thank you we will we will close it today uh, so tomorrow uh, onwards that is friday tomorrow saturday tomorrow is wednesday wednesday thursday friday we have father johnson coming in okay he is going to give us a beautiful teaching uh, i will send the message the mailer uh, father johnson is going to lead us the lead us uh, through the three days then we saturday sunday we again come back uh, to a translation and monday we will have um, brother ragu coming in with the uh, gospel of luke and then following week we will have brother anthony coming in so till uh, so this is the schedule for the next couple of weeks so we'll, let's keep in uh, prayer and uh, continue to encourage each other and pray for each other oh, god bless you all bye bye see you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen amen thank you thank you god thank you god bless